I wasn't sure what to do for my next video. My ideas were beginning to dry up. So it seemed like a good idea to make a video about the process of coming up with a good idea. Especially since many of the top YouTubers and their respective subscribers seem to follow each other like a bunch of sheep. I think it's time for us outsiders to inject a bit of diversity back into the YouTube mix once again. Welcome to another handmade video. Streamercast TV. If you like time traveling, then subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the like button to preserve our heritage for future generations. The Roaring Twenties writer F. Scott Fitzgerald got his creative ideas by holding two unrelated disparate things in his head at the same time forcing his mind to see connections he wouldn't normally make and seeing the world in a whole new light. So I wanted to see if I could bring this technique up to date for the 21st century by using a simple spreadsheet to automatically generate multiple novel combinations simultaneously and to let them effortlessly seep into my subconscious mind whilst I'm daydreaming or asleep. Okay, I've listed hundreds of nouns in the first column. These are words that should trigger lots of interesting connections and images in your mind. The second column consists of about 60 of the most commonly used conjunction words, i.e. words like and that effectively connect words together. I use the random Excel function to pick out pairs of nouns and a conjunction word, print out say 20 of them to fill out a standard size sheet of paper and then just stick it on a toilet door or above your bed so that you can read it without wasting any valuable time. Apparently when you're relaxed you're more likely to come up with novel ideas. You have to be patient though, because most of the combinations will make no sense whatsoever. Although some will be quite amusing. If surreal images start popping up in your head, it's a good sign because it means that it's stretching your imagination. Thomas Edison knew only too well. It's a bit like getting lottery tickets. The more ideas you generate, the more likely you are to come up with that groundbreaking solution like Salvador Dali's iconic lobster telephone. Now that you've seen that video, why not click on my other cardboard adventures?